Weight Loss Surgery Works. My name is McKinsey or Kinsey Restricted on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, today is September the 29th, 2012, and today I am talking about morning food. Um, are there certain foods that you miss now that you're post-op? Um, and did you get depressed during the pre-op, post-op liquid diet phase? Um, I am lap band, so I can basically eat any and everything that I want uh, in a smaller quantity, especially if I'm at restriction. Um, now, there are times when I'm so tight, because my band, I've gone up and down a lot um, with how much I've had in my band, the restriction level, and so there are times when I can eat bread and there are times when I can't eat bread. But other than that, there's no food that I've found that I just cannot eat. Um, so I don't really mourn food in any way because I can have everything and that's part of the reason I chose the lap band. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, that's kind of a catch-22. It's great that I can eat anything and everything, but then I can eat anything and everything. <laughs> um, so I, I do struggle with making good food choices because there are no, um, you know, I have no problems eating those things. If I eat ice cream, that's fine. Um, the only thing that bothers me is the scale. And it's not an instant problem like people that have um, R&Y or the sleeve or the Donald switch where they have dumping syndrome, um, where they have physical pain and discomfort from eating um, certain types of foods or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so I, I have found that, you know, if you're lap band, you kind of can get into this problem where you start eating sliders. Um, mushy foods, foods that go down very easily. The, the point of the lap band is to keep you satisfied for longer. Basically the food will stay above your lap band um, for a longer period of time so that your brain tells you that, you know, so your body tells your brain that you're not hungry anymore. Well if you're eating sliders then it's slipping right past that little pouch and um, you know your stomach is still the same so you're waiting for your stomach to totally fill up just as you would um, if you weren't banded. So, um, do I mourn food? Not necessarily. Um, sometimes I, I wish that I had some of the dumping syndrome things that went along with weight loss surgery, um, just so it would keep me more in line. Uh, the mental game of weight loss surgery, especially with the lap band, I think um, is pretty strong. Uh, you know, I'm making 95% of the choices when it comes to my foods. Um, my lap band only tells me every once in a while, don't eat that. So, uh, now the pre-op, post-op liquid phase. I did not have to do that, so no, I didn't have any morning. Now, I, I was supposed to do post-op liquids, of course, um, everybody does that. But pre-op, I had lost a significant amount of weight on my own um, with uh, Weight Watchers and the HCG diet. So, I didn't have to go liquids before I had surgery. Uh, my doctor basically told me, just keep eating the way you're eating which now I realize I was eating like a banded person by myself. Um, I, I wasn't, you know, I was measuring everything. If you've ever done the HCG diet, you basically don't eat. Um, or you eat very, very little. And the first couple of weeks um, when you're banded, you're kind of eating very little. I mean, I remember struggling to get, you know, 500 calories in in a day, which is crazy. <laughs> and I could obviously not be doing that now. Um, but yeah, I, I struggled very hard to even get that amount of food in. Um, but I, I never got angry at the at the uh, the liquid phase because I really don't feel like it lasted for very long, and I was I was really sick uh, post op because of the medication that the doctor had given me, so I spent a lot of time vomiting. So I was thrilled to actually be able to eat after I got off that stupid medication. So, you know, after struggling for five days of thinking, am I ever going to be normal again in my life, you know, I'm going to die, um, then I realized, oh, I can eat. And I was so excited to eat soup for a week, I didn't care. I thought it was great. Um, but other than that, no, I didn't really mourn food. I don't really mourn food. You know, part of having a lap band, that is, I think, a benefit of it. Um, but, um, again, I can eat everything and anything. So that's an issue. Um, 
But anyways, I hope that everybody has a good week. I will be back next week with our another viewer topic, which thank you guys for uh, giving us suggestions. That's so helpful. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.